Hi everyone, it's Kathy from kathyzilski.com and today I want to share with you a layered Photoshop template designed to let you create custom swatches for your stamping inks or other crafty mediums that you'd like to swatch out. This template is based on Jennifer McGuire's printable ink swatch squares and I wanted to augment her files with this layered file for those of you who may only have a handful of inks to swatch or for those of you who just like to customize your ink swatch font choices. Either way, this template is really flexible and Jennifer has already done the math to make it a snap to trim out with a paper trimmer. I'm working in Photoshop Elements 13 today, but you can use any version of Photoshop with this template. Now when you first open the template, you might get an error message on your text layers, which will show up as little triangles on each layer in the layers palette. If you double click on one of those triangles, you'll get a pop-up window with an error message. If you don't have the font I used, which is called Open Sans, you can click OK and your system will substitute the font. I've included a link to Open Sans in the corresponding PDF handout in the digital package if you'd like to go ahead and add that free font to your system. So let's take a look at the elements in the template. First up, over here on the left, you will find the instructions to use this template. Now this is just a graphic file that I dropped in there and once you've read it and you understand how it works, you can come over to the layers palette and just click on the eyeball turn that layer off and that way you save a little ink. The other thing that is built into this template and is locked, if you come down here all the way down to the bottom, it's called the trim lines layer. I'm going to turn that off again just so you can see it come on and come off. These are the guides that Jennifer designed to let you use your paper trimmer very easily to cut out your swatch squares. And this is a locked layer, meaning you can't mess it up and you can't delete it. Same thing with the background. These two layers are locked. They're just meant to stay in place. The only thing that you have to worry about is working with the text boxes. Now I'm gonna grab my zoom tool and I'm gonna zoom in a little so that we can easily see this. I come out just a tiny bit. Okay, I'm gonna get the horizontal type tool, the text tool, it's also called sometime, and I'm going to click right into the box, and as soon as I do, you'll see I get a blinking cursor. Now, this font is Open Sans Bold on the top and Open Sans Regular on the bottom. The type sizes are set up to be, oh, it looks like it's 11 point, 11 point, let's just say that. And the letting, which is the space between the lines, is set up to be almost 15. You can keep this font if you like, or you are welcome to change it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna highlight both things together at once and just show you an example of how to change a font. I use a font called Avenir. Oh, let's get the right letter in here. Avenir a lot. If you go down into the bottom control area or in earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, you're gonna find that up in the top left. I'm gonna go ahead and just type Avenir and then I'm gonna, well, let's try that again, Avenir. And I'm going to find the avenue that I like, which is, uh, I like Roman. And before I commit the change, I'm going to come up to the top because I like a little bit of type contrast. So I like to have, let's see what black looks like. Yeah, black looks good. I like to have a bolder font on top and have the company name in a lighter font under underneath. And this is set up already using the open sans, but you can do this. It just creates a nice bit of contrast. And one thing I'm going to tell you too, I'm going to click the green check mark to commit that change. I don't recommend changing the color of your swatch names just because you're using color. And if you keep it in black or maybe you, you use a gray color, it will allow the color of your swatch to really shine. But once you've done this, you have to copy it to all the other blocks. I wish there was an easier way. There's not. So I'm going to go ahead and just go highlight the text and hit your command or control key and the C key, that lets you copy. I'm gonna click the check mark and scroll over here a little, get my text tool by hitting the T, okay? Highlight and command or control V to paste. And as soon as I do that, it allows, get the T key again, click in, command or control A to highlight all, command or control V, check mark. 
So these are three commands that if you can learn them quickly, it's really easy. Let's do it together. Hit the T key, you get your text tool. Click in to your text box, Command or Control A to highlight, and Command or Control V to paste. Green check mark. Good. T key, click in, Command or Control A, Command or Control V to paste, check mark. Then you can go ahead through your whole template. I'm going to zoom out here, Command or Control Zero for full page view. You can actually do this in a fuller view. And you just go in and change them all because then you can get your custom font that you really like and you can be using that as you go forward. Now, I would recommend testing your font choice if you change your font because, you know, you might decide you printed it and it looked a little too small. But then you can go back in and I'm going to get my zoom here, come back in, and you can say, for example, oh, let's go fake tan, highlight this one, and go lawn fawn. Check mark. Oh, come on now. I'm scrolling a little. And boom, you have your first entry. So that is how you can go in change all your company names. And then if you're, if you're doing a lot of lawn fawn, for example, go ahead and do the copy thing again. Highlight, copy, text tool, click in, command or control A, paste, and then you can change the top one to another lawn fawn color, for example. And that is how you're gonna work with the template. When you're done, you can do a file save as and you could call it you know my swatch template one or two if you wanted to save them and then all you have to do is go command or control p send your file to print of course i would be choosing let's see actual size eight and a half by eleven i would be printing this on my epson inkjet printer and i would hit print and the nice thing is i just print this on some well i actually print it on sort of a cheaper nina cardstock and then go ahead and trim everything out. But that is how you work with this template. It's really easy to use. And again, you can use this for anything. Maybe you want to do swatches of, you know, perfect pearls, or I'm just throwing things out. I'm a new, I'm a new ink user, people. I'm not really that clear, but you know what I'm saying. You could do watercolor samples. You could do distress ink smears. Anything that you could dream up and swatch, here you go. Print them swatch them, and then use the coin pockets or other small two by two inch pockets to display your stuff. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks everybody and happy swatching. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.